Hello and welcome to Saturday. So Saturday is balance and stretch, which sounds easy, but for some of you won't be so easy. Um, and then some weeks you'll find that you can balance really well and others are completely all over the place. So, but that happens to everybody. So let's see how we get on today. Um, but balance just to say is really important for stopping us from falling over and it helps us to learn and keep our nervous system working so that we know where our feet are and we can switch on um, core stability muscles in our body. So balance is a crucial part of um, keeping us from having and preventing back problems as well. So let's get going. We're going to have a narrow stance with our feet and you're going to think about your posture have your tummy in, have your shoulders down and back, tuck your chin in slightly so you're nice and tall. Think about that lovely plumb line coming all the way from your head, through your ears, through your shoulders, through your hips and down to your ankles. So it's all lined up. So you're not like this, or you're not like that. All nice and lined up. Ears, shoulders, hips, ankles. Okay, so nice and tall, chest lifted. We're going to come up onto our tiptoes and hold it there. And you want to try and not wobble around too much. So try and fix on a point and concentrate on that point as much as you can. Then we're slowly going to raise our arms. You can take a nice breath in. Your chest is still lifted. You're staring at your point. Oh, and then you start wobbling. <laughs> Squeeze onto your bottom muscles. And then we're going to look to our right. So we're going to look to the right, holding on to your tummy muscles and then we're going to look forwards and then we're going to look to our left. Try and stay nice and still as you can and then we're going to then drop the arms back down. We're still up on our tiptoes, you can obviously give them a rest if you want to and then we're going to take our arms forward and above our heads, so really lift that chest and come up to the tiptoes, really high up on your tiptoes. Nice breath in, and then we're going to look up to the ceiling. So that's hard. Okay, well done, everybody. And then we're going to then bring our head down forwards. Brilliant, and we're going to do that again. So squeeze those bottom muscles, hold on to your tummy muscles. Up Whoa. and then back forwards, slowly lower the arms and then drop the feet. And then give give your toes a tap, legs a shake. Like so okay, well done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift up our left leg forwards. So we're going to come forwards, like so, with your left leg. And we're going to hold it there for 10 seconds. You can lean back a little bit. Your supporting leg is soft. So just take it as high as you can. So you may find that you're just slightly touching the ground if your balance isn't, isn't good. So if you can slightly contact the ground, otherwise you can join me higher up. So now once 10 seconds is up, we're going to take our leg, bend it not going back down to the floor. If you are on the floor, you can just sort of drag it back slightly. And then we're going to come and lean forwards with our legs straight out behind. So you square up your pelvis, so they're both pointing down to the ground. Your supporting leg is soft. We're just going to take our arms behind us. So nice and long in the body. Tuck the chin in slightly, so you're looking straight down towards the ground. Nice breath in. And we're going to hold it there for 10 seconds without, oh, nearly lost it. Then we're going to take our arms out to the side. And I want you to just try and straighten that leg a little bit. Okay, so once it's straightened, then we're going to take our arms above our heads. Now lengthen through the body, hold on to your core muscles. Squeeze your bottom at the back so it's keeping your leg nice and straight at the back. Well done, breath in, and then we come back down. Well done. 
It's quite strong. Whew. Move your body around a bit. So we're going to do it on the other side. So you're going to take your right leg forwards, bring it towards me. So again, you can just have it touched on the ground. We can lift up, you can lean back slightly, supporting legs soft. Hold on for 10 seconds. Breathing well, you might feel it slightly cramping in your quad, that's quite normal, mine does that too. I'm gonna tip forwards, take our arms backwards, spin the supporting knee a little bit. Whoa. Okay, strengthen the muscles, core, bottom. Tuck the chin in, look towards the ground, well done. Square up the pelvis if you can. Don't forget to breathe, really nice and strong. Then we're going to take our arms out to the side. There's always one side better than the other. Then we're going to straighten the legs a little bit. And then oh, oh, take the hands above the head. Nice and straight, really squeeze that bottom, lengthen through your spine. And then slowly come back up. Well done. Give yourself a shake. So we're going to put those two exercises together. But we're going to go a little bit faster this time, so it's not such a long hold, okay? So, <clears throat> nice toes together, feet together. We're going to come up onto our tiptoe, nice tall posture, raise the arm out to the side, look to your left, tummy muscles in, centre, look to your right, centre, arms above the head, Whoop. look up to the ceiling, Keep the, try and engage your sitting bones, Back down, up to the ceiling, back down, arms back down, heels back down, shake your legs and then we're going to take the, uh, the right, the left foot forward and then lift up, slightly soft legs. We're going to come through, bend the leg through, take it behind you, take your arms behind you, stretch back with your arms, really square up your pelvis. See if you can get a little bit lower with that knee bend this time. Bottom behind, nice and tense, shoulders down, arms out to the side, straighten that leg so we're in an aeroplane, and then take the hands. So we're like a superman. So this is also partly stability that we were working on on, a, on Friday session. And then back down, well done. Give that ankle a twist and a rotate. And then we go straight onto the other side. So either tap forward or up. Sporting legs soft, chest lifted. And then take it backwards. Arms slide back. Supporting knee soft, straight back with the leg, bend down a little bit more if you can this time again, arms out to the side, straighten the leg into aeroplane, hands above the head, breath in, and then as you breathe out, well done, that's good isn't it? So the next um, balance and stretch combined it's going to be for our glutes. So if you take your right leg, now if you can get it up onto your knee, that's great. You can have it a bit lower so that the foot is on the floor as well. So you're going to be bending forwards from there. So if you can get it up here, you're going to flex the foot. Just let that leg drop out as much as you can to the side. Again, even up. And you're going to start bending your right leg. I'm just going to move mine a little bit. So sit your bottom back to start off with, keeping the chest lifted. 
Well done. So you should start to feel a stretch coming into your bottom now. So then we're going to take our hands and we're just going to then rotate, um, not rotate, roll forward, sorry, down towards the ground. Some of you might be able to get to touch the ground with your fingertips. Now this is then stretches your bottom while balancing. Take a nice breath in and then roll up really slowly. Lovely. And swap legs. Well done. So again, you can just pop your toes on the ground. Bring it above the knee. Don't pop it on the knee. Flex the foot. Lift the chest. Push them back. Start to feel that stretch in your glutes. And then hands in front and roll down forwards. Now this is then you start to feel the increase in stretch in your bottom. Lovely. And look down towards the ground. Nice breath in. And then as you exhale, you come up nice and slowly down that's great now we're going to go down on the floor we're going to do a lunge stretch so um, you're going to come on, onto your knee so you've got your uh, knee towards me the closest one towards me is behind and the one furthest away from me if you're on your side is forwards so we're just going to do a hip flexor stretch from here. So you're going to just lift your chest, square your hips, and just lean into the hips at the front. And then we're going to bring our hands down onto the mat, come up onto the toes, straighten the leg behind you. So that you, and then you lift your chest and look ahead, but you should start to feel a nice stretch through your legs. So we're going to place our hand onto the mat so it's our, our, the hands closest towards the camera and then we're going to rotate our arm so we add a little rotation through the spine. Nice breath in and then as you exhale you bring it back down. You're going to then bring your back leg in a little bit so that the foot so it's about a metre apart between your legs or less than half metre. And your ankle, um, your heel, sorry, is going to be down um, flat at the back. You're not going to be up like that. And then you're just going to straighten out your front leg so that you feel a stretch coming up your front leg. Just stick your bottom backwards as a fraction and then just bring your chin towards your knee. And then breath in. And just as you breathe in, then let go, let go a little bit more. See if you can increase that stretch. Breath in and out. And just think, think of your sitting bone raising to the ceiling above you. So you're getting some length in the hamstrings that you've been working on in the week. Lovely. So soften the knees, bring the feet together. You can then take the, uh, the, the leg that's furthest away from the camera, you're going to drop the knee on the floor, you're going to come into a hip flexor on this side. So we're going to lean forwards, don't let the knee come over the toes. Feel the stretch in the front of the hip, really enjoy it. We're going to place our hands onto the mat, either side of our foot, we're going to come up onto the toe, straighten the leg, and then lift up the chest and look forward so that we get a nice long stretch to our legs. Lovely. We're going to put our hand, our hand that's furthest away from the camera, onto the mat. And then we're going to rotate the hand up, rotate the spine, look up towards the hand, nice strong leg at the back. I'm going to bring the back foot in so it's flat and then gently attempt to 
straighten the leg. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but you should start to feel the pull coming up the back of the leg. So a nice breath in, and as you breathe out, just take your chest towards your leg, and just try and let that muscle relax at the back. And think of that sitting bone, raising it to the ceiling a little bit. So that length comes into that hamstring. Great, nice, nice breath in, and again. Nice breath in, and really let it go. Lovely, and then bend the knees, put the feet together, let the head hang, relax the neck. This is a great way, if you have any neck issues, um, it's great just to get an inverted pose and just let the neck hang so that you don't have any muscle control over it. And then what we're gonna do is just gently roll up through the spine, stacking vertebrae on vertebrae, coming up nice and slowly because we've been upside down and I don't want you to get dizzy and fall over. So that is our balance and stretch on our Saturday of our challenge. So I hope you really enjoy the week and especially today because it's a nice balance and stretch day. And see you soon.